Hello everybody and welcome to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode we went up against the Brick and 12 Pounder and we came across a very strange bug. We brought out our cannon here because I was really up for some cannon v cannon battling and it turns out actually that there's a bit of a bug with the cannoneer class where if you use the light the fuse skill during the fight with the uh, Brick and 12 Pounder or any of the pounders, the 8 Pounder, the 12 Pounder, whatever, um, it can actually light the fuse of that cannon and hit you and it did exactly that and caused us some serious serious harm uh, and yeah it was it was bad it was really bad <laughs> so that was that was just a little scary for us just a little scary uh, just gonna upgrade uh, Harathan here uh, we're taking these guys out I've got them prepped for a mission we're gonna go into this short adventure level two and we're actually looking to slay the uh, thing from the stars to get some shards that's kind of why I'm going out on this mission. Also, it's our first mission out with Jack since he came to look for his, um, his, not even his master, but the, the person in Ukronos. He, he, he came here looking for him and unfortunately he had passed, but he is here to take his place and we are going with uh, a pretty decent setup for the thing with the stars. We're going to be taking the sun because this thing's just insanely good. Um, the 10% damage received isn't a massive thing uh, and we get huge speed, huge crit and minus chance to be party surprised. And then we're going with blight on melee attack hit, which I think is really, really important. Uh, then Harathan is taking bleed, even though bleed isn't that useful against other things in the ruins, it's going to be useful against the thing from the stars. And we're taking the focus ring just for that extra accuracy and crit putting up to 10 accuracy 12 crit uh, we're taking nori here with the extra restoration head uh, and the book of sanity just to reduce that stress and then um we have our um, healer here, well, secondary healer, Aaron, uh, he hasn't been out in a little while. We're taking him out. He's got the double healing setup. Although I'm a little, I'm, I'm maybe going to change over this for something else. Originally, I was thinking this would be really good. But we've got a bit of a problem with this in the fact that if we take this, we, we never virtue. And there's a okay-ish chance an okay-ish chance that we do end up taking on quite a lot of stress considering we're fighting the thing from the stars. So I may be thinking about swapping that out for something a little different. I'm just not sure exactly what would be best because we don't particularly need damage on this guy. So I may be thinking we just go with... Um the, something like the life crystal for that extra maximum HP. We don't exactly need the speed. Or we could go with prot. Uh, prot's always good. Um definitely helps out or we could try and buff our dodge a lot dodge is also really nice as well so there's a few different options we can go for here but i think ultimately this is going to be a decent setup i think the life crystal is just fine um we're not going to be using this guy for only damage we're going to be using his um Petitation as well for that extra crits received. I'm going to be using this as well for the uh, extra crits, 11% crit while marked. So it's going to mark and add a block. I think both of those are going to be nice. The heal is just kind of secondary. It's going to clear horror, which is nice, and clear marked target, also good. And then uh, word of power is just going to be a little bit of damage against the unholy enemies within the ruins. But I think this is a pretty decent setup, so let's head on in, see how we go. Uh, and I think we'll be taking... Ooh, we've actually got one of these. Cure Blight and Bleed and Increase your Resistance against death nice one uh so we'll take like 15 food we'll take all four no actually it's only a short mission we'll take three shovels we'll take four 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 three four uh and we'll take 15 of those. I think that's a pretty decent setup. I think we've got a good amount of stuff here. But yeah, we might not end up finding the thing from the stars, but it's kind of like something that I'm aiming towards going for this mission. We'll jump right in, and um, we actually have a diary entry here from TEA, uh, and this is um, one when Isaac enters the local cartographer to check up on him, and he finds that the cartographer is no longer home, but finds a journal entry that he wrote before leaving. It was a thirst for blood, like those monsters in the courtyard. It was a curse. Inescapable. My world is swirling in black. I must take my leave to the courtyard. Maybe there I can save myself. I must drink. And that's the uh, unfortunate cartographer that's been bitten in the courtyard. I can't wait to get back into the courtyard. I'm, I'm pretty on edge about going back there, but I really do want to. So uh, we'll look at going back there pretty soon. Uh, let's jump into this mission and see how we go. But yeah, we are looking for the thing from the stars. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Maybe maybe I'm foolish. Maybe it's a terrible idea to to seek out this thing, especially without any armor piercing. I, I realize that's a bit of a 
bit of a risky thing to do, but I thought I thought we have a good chance of being able to beat him with the current setup we've got going on here. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to jump back in with this crew. I think Aaron's always going to be going to the ruins. He understands the ruins. He he wants to fight against the unholy. Um, and I really wanted to get going with uh, with our our beautiful beautiful new run in here. But look at that damage straight off the bat. It's great. Um, the blight, of course, is going to do crazy good against these guys. Um, we're going to summon a mirage here. One of the cool skills about this um, can do some pretty interesting stuff, actually. Basically, the Mirage is going to be healing us. It's going to be dealing damage to the enemies. Um, like this, look, adding restoration. It's really nice, actually, the, the Mirage. So I'm going to be trying to use that a little more. Look at this. Great stuff. Great stuff. Um, we'll get a slice on you. We're doing insane damage with this guy right now. Uh, look at that. Plus 35 damage, 10 prop, 5 dodge, 4 dodge. It's just some crazy, crazy stuff. And yeah, with our, with our word of power here, we're going to be doing a whole hell of a lot. Um, I don't actually know how this works if there's already a mirage. Okay, it just clears corpses and summons a new mirage. That's fine. But there's some more blight. Uh, and yeah, I think this is going to be a really, really good way to deal quite a lot of damage. And then Harathan here coming in with the crazy, crazy damage against blighted enemies, which is why we've got Ronan set up with that blight um, ability to blight enemies. Okay. So we've, we've only got to explore 90% of rooms here. It's not exactly the hardest quest in the world. But like I said, the thing from the start is kind of what we're looking for. We've got some new enemies already, uh, some gargoyles. I've not seen these guys before. Um, this could be rather scary. They are unholy. They're stonework as well. They actually are relatively weak. Um, I'm going to go and hit this guy first, though, because this guy can do some really bad stuff to us. I don't know what sort of damage these guys can do. And apparently I'll never find out either because they can't hit me, uh, which is <laughs> pretty nice, actually. Um, we're going to buff you with an extra combat action. That is going to apply some horror. But I think doing this and getting an extra action out of you is going to be really nice. Uh, these guys probably won't be able to be blighted. Oh, they can be. Um, let's see how much damage are we doing off of a base level here. Let's just go for a hit because we can get a kill. I'm really scared to get hit by these guys simply because of their really, really low health. It To me... Oh, one second. I've got some notifications incoming. But to me, that means that he's probably going to be hitting really, really hard. Either way, just a moment. I'll just go start out those notifications. Okay, I think we're good now, hopefully. I can't. Unfortunately, I can't turn off the notifications, but it should at least be quiet for now. Oh, we're up against one of these guys again. We got, we got beat the hell up by one of these guys previously, so let's be very, very careful, shall we? Uh, I don't think we can kill either of these guys, so let's just go for some damage. But yeah, I'm a bit scared about these. Um, yeah, they, they really did a number on us. We're going to go for the double action on you again. I realize that horror isn't great, but we can deal with it. We're going to go with Blight. That's going to hit all of you apart from, obviously, this guy. I kind of expected that. And we're going to start, we're going to start taking you down because you just have so much health. We really want to be taking you out as quickly as possible. This thing, this thing, last time we saw it, was, I, I, I'm sure tales have been told in, back in the Hamlet, about how, how much damage this thing truly caused. Like, this, this thing was, was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, I'm going to activate rest, uh, repose on you as well. Getting repose on two different people is really nice, especially when we're adding blight. Uh, not that it'll affect this guy too badly, but we're not going to be doing too much damage with this guy anyways. Uh, let's get a Mirage out there. I think Mirage is going to be super useful right now. Getting that extra Soul Fly. Unfortunately, the healing isn't particularly targeted, so we're not going to be getting the healing specifically on who we need it on. But I think that's okay. Nice one. Oh, <laughs> Repost actually hurt the, the solar flare, uh, the mirage, sorry. But I'm pretty sure when the mirage dies, it has some interesting things that it does, so it's not a bad thing. And Aaron here is doing exactly what he needs to do, and that's a crit there. Awesome. Huge crit there, there, from Harathan. Thank you very much. Um, we haven't actually really needed to, um, to do too much here in terms of... In terms of healing, it's just been kind of been passive, which is really nice, actually. We've been... One thing I will say, we've been getting some really nice dodge going on. It did manage to blight that guy and actually kill him as well, so thank you very much. Um, thank you very much indeed. Let's keep on moving along. But yeah, I'm a little... I'm a little worried about... Oh, this is crazy. That's going to be... 
70% damage. Wow. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about coming up against the thing from the stars. I know that it's a it's it's a it's a fur not to be trifled with. I do realize that, but needs must. We 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 really do want as many crystals as we can get. Um, we, ha we 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 can go into the endless mode now, but I'm not quite ready for it. So um, this currently is our best way to to get a good amount of shards. And there's some there's some relatively cheap things that we can get for shard cost that are really really good. And um, we found our first blood suckers here, so these guys won't be great. Um, gonna do for the double combat action on you, because that means you can repost and hit on the same turn. There's a good chance we get the curse here, but luckily our dodge persists and stays. Very, very high up there. Uh, we'll go for these guys and just try and hit them for as much as we can. Um, I'm just going to go for the damage rather than the repose, actually. I think we can take all of them out quicker, apart from if we do that. But the Blight finishes them off. I love that. We'll keep taking you out. We want to basically give these guys as few turns as possible. So while activating repose does do... Was a good a good amount of stuff. It, it really does prep us. It puts us in a bad position for actually killing them quickly. So we don't want that. Uh, but we... Right now, Jack is... Jack is fully... We're going to get rid of that because we're not going to use that. Uh, Jack is fully proving himself right now as, like, the complete alpha of the group. He really is. He is doing some major, major work on these enemies. Taking them out very quickly. With effectively no resistance. Um... Even though I like my medical herbs and all that sort of stuff, I'm going to get rid of those. We're going to go for this battle because it could be the thing from the stars. We want to fight it as early as possible, preferably. We instead have got three gargoyles here. Um, okay, take you out. I'm really scared to find out what these guys do. They only have one move, Lash of the Tail. I'm imagining if it ever hits us, if it ever hits us, <laughs> it'll do some serious damage, but... Okay, we did unfortunately get the um, the solar blessing here, which is nice, but it can manifest into the solar addiction, so we don't really want to trifle with that too much. But yeah, if, if this Lash of the Tail ever hits, I feel like it's going to be pretty devastating, but so far it seems to either have really low accuracy or we seem to have really good luck. I'm not exactly sure what the uh, which way around that is, but we're getting lucky for now. We're getting lucky for now, so we'll carry on. Keep our heads held high. Keep everyone very well topped up on HP. Like, these restoration builds, I feel, are, are, are just... They're, they're top dog in terms of in terms of consistent healing. We we protect everyone, pretty much, from, um, from, like, taking too much damage. And we can even heal them passively during hallways and stuff after fights. So it, it seems like just the best way to go. It's why Maggie's so important to me. And uh, he's such a good character. It looks like we're less likely to find a thing from the stars now because we've only got a few rooms left, but it could still happen. It could still happen. I'm 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 hopeful, even though that sounds really seems really dumb from really from me right now. Because I probably shouldn't want to find him, but Unfortunately, he was not here. Not at all. Nowhere to be found. Uh we might as well clear some stress off of you, because why not? Get rid of all of your stress. And we found a sack as well. A little bit extra gold. Honestly, didn't get too much from that there. That was a very short jaunt, very short adventure. We got a decent amount of money, though. Um, money's always nice, and we got a little bit of resolve XP coming in. We got the ghoul fever. Um, we're getting extra melee skill. We, we definitely want to get rid of that. Um, yeah. Rebellious is also bad. We really want to get rid of Rebellious, too. But we'll probably, we'll probably take the time to get rid of that straight away, actually. Uh, so let's um, sort by level... Let's unequip all of these, and let's just go to the sanitarium and quickly remove that off of you. And do you know what, Aaron? You can get rid of the solar blessing as well. I, 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 I like the idea of the solar blessing, but I don't think it's a good idea for us to take it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking to get some of these. There's some of these that are just insanely good. Um... Let's have a look. Do we have anyone new coming in? Doesn't look like we have anyone new. It doesn't even look like we have anyone leveling up. We do have some level 1 slayers and things like that. And people have been saying to me that I probably should take on some lower levels and just power level level them with our librarian. But 
I don't know if I want to do that yet. Um, I, I'll get round to that, but I at least want them to be level 2 or 3, to be honest, not level 1. Uh, that'd take just too long, too much power leveling. Uh, but we're getting there, and now we've got to decide we've got to decide what we want to do next here uh, we've got a few different options i think we should probably go on this short adventure into the uh, the courtyard i think a courtyard adventure could be quite good so we'll, we'll maybe see about doing that I'm not 100% sure to use the tape. We've got a lot of people that have their backstory intertwined and weaved into the um, into the courtyard. So we, we could definitely take quite a few people there. And I really want to try and build up a few people's story with the courtyard, uh, considering how intertwined they are with it. So maybe we'll build up a party based on that. I know that the Warrior of the Sun, it, Oracle here... He's um, he's pretty intertwined with the backstory and the the legacy of the courtyard, um, so maybe he could be quite good. Um, we could actually take him as a backliner. Uh, he's, he's he's got some pretty interesting skills actually. Maybe we should maybe we should like tweak his skills and look at what we, what we really want to do with him here because we've got this repulsed stun chance parry. Uh, we've got the Sunlight Spear, which I feel is really really good, especially against rank one with armor piercing. Um, We've got this dodge roll, uh, which is going to move us back. Consume mark. It's going to give us some stress relief. And, oh my god, that's actually really good. Um, and we've also got this emit force. Knockback 2, stun, but it's also got some st self stun on it as well. But it's got some really high stun base chance, so that's pretty good. Um, torch up, clear horror, buff party for minus 4 stress per 20 torch light. That's really good. Um, this, this is quite good. I don't know. I think, I think we're going to turn this off and go, go with that. And we can only use that from the back too, actually. So, hmm. I saw, I could see that as sort of a last ditch effort sort of thing. But the Praise of the Sun is only going to work from the back. So maybe we don't want to use that. The rightful thrust. Let's take them too. Okay. So we've got, um... We've got Oracle here. I think he's going to be pretty good. Who else do we have with ties to the courtyard? Of course, the Duchess has some has some heavy ties to courtyard. Um, so maybe she wants to come out as well. Where is our Duchess? Victoria here. Um, she might want to come out as well. Let's have a little look. See, one moment. Okay, I have to think about it a little bit more. I think we're going to take Jonathan out as well. I just, I don't know. He's not actually got ties to the courtyard, but I just like the poetic nature of bleed v bleed. It's like, you try to suck my blood while I make you bleed. And the the, uh, the courtyard is actually quite susceptible to bleed, so I think that's going to be really good. Um, and who else shall we bring out with us? Because we have people like Trell who are really good versus bleeding, and I definitely want to take him out um soon but at the same time maybe we could maybe we could move you to the back and yeah so let's let's instead let's do this so we've got this this it's unfortunate because we don't have like we only have three moves we can use from the back so i suppose we could take that and use that from uh, from here and put you here uh, and then put trell at the front because we, we do have some good healing um, utility within Jonathan Baker himself, so we don't have to worry about that as much. Uh, but then we do we do need another fairly strong healer here. Um, we need to make sure that we can keep everyone topped up pretty nicely. So maybe we'll go with Ryan. Um, Ryan going into the uh, going into the courtyard could be could be quite nice. But again, we're taking someone that has some less than guaranteed healing, so maybe not. Um do you know what? We'll take we'll take the, the statue man himself. Uh oh, Blood Knights Despise. Oh, okay. I think the uh, the Revenant, unfortunately, is not accepting of uh of this at all. I don't think he wants to go there. That is unfortunate, but some some of these people they don't like each other. And they won't, they won't go on missions with each other, unfortunately. Uh, so who shall we take, then? Maybe we'll take our surgeon. Our surgeon, Alexander. Um, he can deal out some bleed. Things like that. Let's have a little look-see. Um, pull. Wow, that's interesting. He can pull a target for three. Buff them for insane extra damage and crit, but they get massively reduced stats 
Wow, okay, that's that's an interesting one. I probably wouldn't use that myself, but an interesting one nonetheless. Um, and we can, of course, just go with this. I think, I think this is pretty good. It gives us that disease resist. Do you know what? Actually, Alexander makes perfect sense to bring along with us simply because he buffs disease resist. Disease resist uh, actually counts for the uh, Crimson Curse. So if we want to try and avoid the Crimson Curse, we want to be taking as much disease resist as, as humanly possible, really. Uh, so let's try and buff up his heal as much as we can. So we'll go with... First of all, I need to sort these because these are a mess right now. I don't think this class himself actually has anything. Uh, we've got two of those now. Let's just sell one of those. No point having two. Um, let's have a little look-see. We could go with on a melee attack blight for someone. I don't know if we need that here. We definitely want on melee attack bleed. That's going to be really, really advantageous here. Uh, so you need... I think we'll take this. The never virtue thing isn't great. Uh, but I think, I think we can manage our stress well well enough that we're that we'll be okay here uh and then we could of course take the um the card for the healing bonus but that minus 20 percent. i'm just going to take the 15 percent healing here just i think it's a little better for us i think i think this will this will be really good um right so let's just take a look at some skills so we've got obliterate here which is 30 percent damage against bleeding and we've got this here that bleeds and um, buffs bleed duration. And then we've got his repost here, which is bleed as well. Um, self one block. We'll go with this instead. The uh, heal but suffer damage. I think that's pretty good. We could always go with the siphon as well. Blight skills are disabled. Valid below 33% health. That's a, that's a pretty interesting one. But I think, I think we'll go with this here. Uh, the vampiric embrace. Even... Even if he is trying not to be very vampiric as he goes into here, I think it's still quite fitting. Uh, and we'll, we'll probably just buff up his damage as much as possible. So he doesn't have particularly high crit or damage, to be fair. Um, so maybe we'll go with... Maybe we'll just play into this. Do we have the... I, I swear we have a damage versus blood suckers, don't we? Maybe we don't. I thought we had a, a damage versus bloodsuckers. Maybe I'm thinking of the damage versus beholster uh, ones. Let's just check one moment. Do do the people count as... They just count as bloodsuckers. They don't count as humans. Okay. So we can't get any extra damage there. Um, the brawler's gloves are fine, though. I don't particularly mind us not, not having any crit. Although crit is good. Crit is good. Maybe maybe we'll buff up the crit. <laughs> it's, it's a very difficult one to choose between. Let's go with that, shall we? Uh, pretty high crit. Low dodge. Low speed. Uh, Jonathan. What can you do? You definitely want this because it means that your, um, your skill here, Reclaim, has a, le a lesser chance of bleeding you, which is really nice. Uh, and maybe we'll go with the extra restoration applied. But we're probably not going to be using him as a healer all that much. So maybe we want to go with his one of his class specific things, but that's all Death Star related. Hmm. It's definitely a tough choice here. Definitely a tough choice. Ooh. Oh, that's. I could bring. I could bring um, this set up here. Hmm. Interesting. Got some interest. Got some very interesting setups here. Very interesting setups indeed. I'm very uh, apprehensive to use some of them. Let's say, but yeah, we got some. We got some really cool stuff here. So, of course, uh, Jonathan isn't going to be doing all that much damage. So we don't really need to worry about buffing his damage too much. We just need to think about what's what's the best thing for him to be to be better at. We could go with scouting um, and less speed. Twenty percent scouting is pretty nice. Um, and let's have a look. This is this is only a short mission though, so maybe it's not as relevant. God, choosing trinkets is probably the hardest thing we do here. Um, let's go with the extra. Mm, I want to go with extra speed and crit on you, but I don't at the same time. Let's just go with a blight, shall we? Let's just go with that extra blight chance. Um, then for you, we go with the speed and crit because you're going to be keeping your light up. You do definitely want the sun to be in in your wheelhouse. Uh, and then we go with we go with this as well. We do get that 20% extra stress. And 
unfortunately the melee accuracy isn't going to be super relevant because we're going to be using this more than this but we will get that out sometimes and then i think that means everyone's trinketed up doesn't it yes um let's just check what everyone has bloodthirsty wow this is there's some there's some very um there's some very fitting things here uh very fitting things indeed so eager to fight is definitely definitely a problem also filcher is pretty pretty problematic we got to watch out for both of those but hopefully they shouldn't be too big of a problem they, they tend not to not to rear their ugly head too often so we can we can at least hope that that stays the same way as we uh, as we push forward here and head into the courtyard oh I'm, I'm i'm ready but i'm also not ready at all <laughs> i'm very scared uh let's get our provisions so I'm going to bring some blood just in case. I don't know how much blood I need. I'll bring four, I guess. Uh, but we should be able to just bring that back with us. We'll take food. We can take... Um, I think 15 will do us. Don't know how many shovels. We'll take three. Four. Five. Four. 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 And we'll take... 15 of these as well it's it's pretty scary going out into this area but i think this party should be good enough to take them on we're going to be hitting with the obliterate and getting that really really high extra damage against bleeding along with bleeding pretty much everyone um and blighting them too then here we're going to be bleeding everyone um pretty easily and then here we're going to be healing everyone and buffing their disease resist uh which i think i think all in all this should be a pretty a pretty good group to take out on this mission and oracle himself is is very willing and wanting to go into the courtyard after seeing what ugliness it is it is reared so let's jump into the courtyard. And we have a diary entry here from Cura the Wraith. This is written by me. Um, Many hearty warriors and assassins take residence within the hamlet, each one with their own set of skills and principles. But still, no man, woman, or entity has come close to what I saw in Akira. I long for the day I can move on and find another, but until that time, I kill, I kill, and I kill again. That's just referencing... The fact that Kira, he had he had someone that he that he really believed in, but unfortunately it did not work out. So we've got to activate the three winemakers reserves here. I'm guessing that means we're gonna be taking things into our inventory here. Um Kira's Kira's here. I don't exactly know what this one is. Forgotten delicacies, we should really go and take a look at this. There's no point gambling on these. Um What's this one called? Forgotten delicacies. We've got on delicacies, medical herbs. Okay. I really want to be making sure we do everything right here, so let's do this. There you go. We've got a bunch of extra food. That's great. Definitely something we want. I say extra food. You don't bring food out here, do you? On, oh, no, that's, um, that's COM, isn't it? Calls of madness. I'm getting confused, but this group, I think they are, they are all bound in blood. I mean, apart from Oracle, who fights against those that suck blood, all three of these guys... They spent their fair share of time in pools of blood. <laughs> their fair share of time. They they know what it's like. And what do you want, sir? Do you want blood? Wise and true. Okay. Uh, let's also take a little look at what he's got to offer us. The wise and true. Uh, blood trinket times three. Oh my. We'll give you some blood. Nice one. Okay, we'll be careful about giving away too much of our blood here, but... Um... Torch this? Yeah, okay. We're building up a big inventory of stuff already. We've got to be careful we don't fill up too fast. But this has been some good curios so, curios so far. This is another burn one, isn't it? Burn it all down. This is stress relief. We don't need to do that yet. Okay, we've already done that one, so let's leave that. Ooh, a trap. Lucky dodge there, Alexander. Well done. Mind your footing. Taking on a little bit of hallway stress here, but nothing too bad. No fights as of yet, which is... Uh, it's it's definitely worrying. We could come across the crocodile once more, and here's our first battle. Um, okay, I really don't like the way I've accidentally set this up. Wow. <laughs> okay. I need, to, I need to do some stuff here. Um... I need to do some stuff. Right. First of all, let's unskill you and reskill you. 
Because your skills are in the wrong order, and the same for you. It was very confusing then. <laughs> Good, okay. I had the skills in the completely wrong order. I was getting very, very confused. Okay, we can shovel this. We've only got three shovels, so I don't want to do that yet. I think it's a little risky. Uh, of course, we don't need to do anything with the blood light here. Nice. I don't actually know what torches are for, apart from Curios here. Maybe there's another use for them. Maybe I should be using them more often. Um, I guess. Okay. Things like that then, I guess. <laughs> that answered my question pretty quickly. But we haven't we haven't found anything of the winemaker's reserves yet. And we are almost finished with all the rooms here. Now, I've heard that some of the rooms in Courtyard kind of expand on for a really long time. Like, this might not be the extent of the area. It might keep on going and expanding out from here. But it is a bit strange. Um, what the hell is this thing? Disturbing di um, diversion. Okay. Luckily, I've got this up here, so I can have a little look at what that is. Disturbing diversion. Um, shovel heirloom times three. Again, I don't want to jump in on that just in case yet. Okay, we've got another another one of these guys. Let's take him on. I, I can't believe how much bleed we can stack up straight away. It's kind of crazy, actually. Um, and then we just we're just gonna do this to up that up that uh, disease resist. I think the disease resist is gonna be what saves us here. And I actually might I might bring Alexander with us a lot more often. The study of blood and the study of well, he must be studying something to do with this disease and maybe working alongside Isaac because he seems to know how to fend off against it. And that's that's insanely important right now. So it's very very nice to see. Oh, I'm, I am really liking this group, though. This group has some serious synergy. Serious, serious synergy. We don't need the citrine. I'm really liking it. Oop, we got one of these people. Um, that does less damage against rank 3, more damage against rank 1, so... That, that could kill you. It's probably worth trying. Of course you dodged it. Of course you dodged it. Let's be careful here. We can bypass guard here, so I don't mind about that. Um... I'm going to go for the bleed on you, because that's bleed and blight. Ooh, a crit there. We're marked as well. Just keep doing this. It's going to heal us up. Keep this topped off. And keep that bleed resist insanely high. Okay, get both of you bled. Okay, that did hurt, but we've got group healing here, so that doesn't matter too much. Nice strike. Lovely crit there, Oracle. Striking down the bloodsuckers where they stand. The thirst, haha, -ha, you missed. And this is just good healing, like you are you are bled to damnation. You are destroyed. You are just dead. <laughs> just dead. So very dead. Uh I think we'll we'll throw away this because we're never gonna use it, even though it is worth a bit more money than the um the deeds are, but I'll take the deeds nonetheless. And yeah, I'm a bit I'm a bit confused as to where the uh the next few things we need to actually get out of these winemaker's reserves because we haven't found any of them yet, so... Okay. That's one of them. I'm wondering if they give us all the same thing or if it's different things each time. So, of course, our disease resist has fallen off now, so we've got to be careful for that. I'm going to try and take you out straight away. Very nice one there. I love the fact that these guys are so susceptible to bleed. It's crazy. Okay, we do have some guard going on here. But as soon as we get this in, everyone gets up to full health and everyone gets that disease resist. And I feel a little less scared for what's coming up next. This guy does is, is uh, having some high prot here. And you are finished. Good. Oof. Some, some horror coming in here. Some serious horror. Wow. But don't worry about it because you are toasted and roasted, so to say. You are done. Yes. Obliterated. Very much so. Grab a little bit more of that blood. Unfortunately, blood only comes in sacks of six. We'll get rid of that, shall we? Even though we know it can be used for some curi curios. I don't know what this guy does at the back here. At least we've still got our disease resist. I'm pretty much fine as long as we still have our disease resist. I did hit the wrong guy then, but you are very nearly dead. I'm going to finish you off, actually. Okay. Keep that going on. Look at that. 75 disease resist. That's insane. There's there's effectively no way we can take the disease 
with this much going on. It's going to hit you. And I'm going to hit you. 12 damage. That's great damage coming up from Oracle here. He hits somewhere it hurts. The thirst. Claim. We don't really need to reclaim right now, so let's just move ourselves forward. Get heals and everyone. I'm loving the fact that we're keeping everyone so high up here. I can't believe that Blight Resist as well. There's, there's definitely other ways we could use that. That definitely hurt. What has he turned into here? What the hell is this beast? Take him down now. I do not like the look of that thing. And you are effectively dead. That thing scared me. That thing scared me, I have to say. Um, we can leave the Onyxes for now. I'm fine with that. Finally, some blood. We're getting a lot and a lot of blood here, which is pretty good for us, actually. And it just seems that all of the winemaker's reserves were just, like, locked off away from us. Sadly. I just missed missed out on them all. They're all at the very end of the quest. Bit random, but that's what happens sometimes. So we, we came out of that with a lot of blood. Return to the Hamlet. Everyone's feeling like they did a pretty good job there. We're not returning with any disease, which is really nice. That disease resist is... Ooh, it's, it's key. It's very important. Very happy to have it. Easy target and calm. Both of those are fine. They're not they're not terrible. They're not great. And we could effectively go on an extra mission here. I don't know if we want to. Let's see what we've got available here. Um, that's pretty decent. I'm going to buy another one of those just so we can power level a few people at once. Um, still didn't get anything here, which is a shame. See if anyone else has arrived that could be of use. Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Still waiting on a few more people to arrive here. And we've still got a few stagecoach upgrades to go. We could upgrade our Ross to 75, but we don't need to yet. And we've got little bits and bobs to go here. A little, little few things to do. Let's unequip all of our trinkets. Don't think anyone took anything too harsh on there. Um, and yeah, we've got quite a few different things to, to do coming up next here. Well, that's a lot of really like low-level missions in a row there. I wonder what that's about. Lots and lots of them. We still need to level up the curve. The curve's the only one that's not level six so far. Uh, ruins up to level seven. Um, but I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty afraid to to do some of the next bosses. But we do have to do them, and we have to get up to level to do this as well. The hastily carved stones. I really want to get that done as soon as possible. But we've got to level ourselves up for that yet. Uh, and I think this is going to be a good place to leave it off, even if the episode is a little shorter than normal. I'll go into the last diary entry here from Eon the Cataphract. Um, this is another one by me. I've been studying the people and the dialect of this land for some time now, and I feel I'm still missing so many pieces of an ever-growing puzzle. The comet that hit a few months back um there's i've there's a there's a comet that f hit a few months back and i've been drawn to it by its otherworldly gl glow i don't want to stand out from the rabble though so my investigations has been a slow process maybe i can find out more about my origin maybe this is why i was constructed to help solve this ever-growing mystery mm, i like the story i'm loving it I've been, I've been really enjoying writing them and obviously I love it when you guys join in with writing those and things like that so let's um let's see about doing some upgrades here we're missing out on busts quite heavily actually uh let's let's check out on 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 here shall we we've got plenty of these that, that need making we still have I think two blueprints with three blueprints okay uh so we definitely want to get going with some of these Puppet Theater is definitely a contender. This one is something I apparently really need, uh, so we'll save up the busts for that pretty soon. And then we have some more class-specific ones here, and we even have a few modded ones towards the end. Um, let's have a little look what we got here. Cursed Ground, Dark Wraith, Succubus, get 10 times idle stress relief in town per week, plus 100 stress healed from kills as well. Um, and the Unholy Curious heal them for 20. That's pretty good for Dark Wraith and Succubus, but unfortunately we only have a Dark Wraith right now. Uh, we also have this one here, which is two additional respite points if you have any of these classes. That's pretty good. Um, Jester, Snake, minus 10. Stress, plus 2 speed. There's some really interesting stuff here, but I'm not exactly sure what we want to what we want to take, or if there's, there's anything we want to take right now. Or maybe we just want to do some saving up and wait for some other things that are a bit more relevant. Trell gets uh, some extra stuff if he has the Crimson Curse. That's kind of uh, amusing. Kind of good that we brought him out on that quest there. 
Uh, but I don't think there's anything here that we're particularly looking to uh, to get. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good place to end it off, even if this is a little bit of a shorter episode. And we'll move on in the next episode and try and do yet another one of the bosses. People can suggest what boss they would like me to do if you'd like. That'd be pretty interesting to see what you guys want. Why has this guy got so much stress? What happened to you? Did they just get idle stress? What, what happened to you, sir? Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.